<laughs> Let's go, baby. I love y'all, man. Yo, we back again. So, all right, so we're going to jump right into it. Yo, what's up? It's the go to the game, hip hop gamer, hot 97. Wu Tang forever is going down. And I hope it's not the last season, but, you know, we're going we to get into all of that right now. So, yo, Rizza, Alex, I love y'all, man. Y'all work is incredible. So, here's the first question, bro. The last time we spoke, right? Oh, uh, Alex said that I think he thought I was in your phone because of the universe and the things that we was talking about. So let me ask you a question, right? I know this is the last season, but will it be the last of what we see in terms of Wu-Tang and these stories being told? Because, you know, I've seen music with Wu-Tang and Onyx. You know, I've seen groups come together and do things. So is it fair to say that we're going to see something uh, evolve and Wu-Tang is just the beginning? <laughs> Well, one thing it is, you know, this series has been the beginning of me and Alex um, partnership in all reality, you know, mm. uh, his his talent, his way of storytelling and in my imagination, the way of storytelling, we found this blue line that helped us tell and present this series to you. So, you know, we always say, hey, the saga continues. So we never know what's going to keep come. But this is, uh, you know, the final season with Holo and and we're so proud of it because we achieved the goal of the story we set out to tell. We watched, mm. these, we watched this, this family and this group of men go from zero and make it to 100. And, that's, and that was the goal of it. And uh, I hope the audience enjoy, enjoys this ride because I think season three, to be straight up with you, Hip Hop Gamer, Mr. Gerard, season three, <laughs> straight up fire, yo, fire. Yo, man, I already started it, dog. It's crazy. And the writing is even more serious. You know what I'm saying? So, Alex, you a beast. Now, I got to ask you this, man. It's something else that I uh, talked about. And I also got some feedback from the community. So, um, have y'all thought about doing, like, a Wu-Tang anime? And where it's a, it's a situation where, um, you know, when you're acting is one thing. But when you're a voice actor, you could kind of keep things going more, even if somebody is working on something else, you know, in the physical and the likeness side. So have you ever thought about writing something in the world of anime and cartoons and things of that nature to push <laughs> routine in, in another medium, Alex? Uh, yeah. So what? Now you're in my phone. You were in Rizzo's phone last time. <laughs> and now you're in my phone. So uh, we have always talked about that. We've even, you know, talked about that even within the context, you know, of this existing show. Um, so that's something that that's always been something of a topic of discussion between him and I, uh, whether it's direct Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang uh, fantasy stuff, or just even stuff, you know, between him and I. So that's mm. always been on the table. Okay, you gotta go get Shaolin style the old PlayStation game, get yeah. that develop it into a script. That's that's what you're talking about, right? Yo, <laughs> bro, do yo, y'all do something to write with that. Yo, bro, that would be insane. Now, I got something, I got something else for y'all. I got a few minutes left. So another thing I want to ask y'all is I'm not sure if y'all um heard of Coast Contra, the rap group. Oh, uh, yeah. Coast yeah, Coast Contra is incredible. My question is, um, will y'all be willing to you know, work with uh, Coast Contra and uh, and potentially um, tell stories of newer artists, you know, that's actually uh, developing and things of that nature. Because Coast Contra, to me, is like an ode to the Wu-Tang family, man. That's how great they are. I'll well, let you I take say, that risk. Well, I'll say, no, well, you know, the craziest thing is I'll be so busy, I'll be missing stuff. Alex sent me the <laughs> Coast Contra... <laughs> Uh, I didn't even know about it. So he, he sent it to me. I'm like, oh, these dudes are dope. Um, you know what I mean? But point being made is that you, um look, at the end of the day, you know, we're going to continue to build and, and share hip hop culture and, and tell as many stories that, that the system uh, allows and that resonates with others. It ain't, it's just, it ain't just about a hip hop story. It has to be a resonation, mm. right? And, mm. and and Wu Tang has a resonation. That's why it's called Wu Tang, an American saga. But we always got our eye out for the young. We always got our eye out for what's coming in one capacity or another, whether it's me in my world over here or Alex right there digging in the crates, playing JID mm -hmm. as a, on the way to work. <laughs> Yo, I love it, man. Yo, I wish I could talk to y'all like like five, ten more minutes, but that's my time. One thing I will say before we get out of here is, yo, I use your character all the time in Fortnite. 
I'm telling you right now, Rizzo, I use your character. That's my main character right oh, now no, in Fortnite. Sure. I hope to see y'all, you know, do a lot more stuff because we love y'all and support y'all. And I'm looking forward to another saga, a new saga, as the saga t- uh, continues. So God bless. I love y'all. It's the one and only go to the game, hip hop gamer on your hot 97 every day. That's my word. Wu Tang forever. Let's go. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Always man. love y'all, man. Take care, bro. Peace.